there are some different uh, ethnic backgrounds that, that may uh, be more susceptible to the BRCA1 and BRCA2, are there not? So in general, so as we talked about earlier, everyone has the BRCA1 and 2 genes. And it's a question of is it working or not? Is there a mutation or not? Right. And in the general kind of population in the states, we know that there's about between 1 in 500 to 1 in 600 people who carry a mutation. So it's not that common. But there are specific populations that have what we call founder mutations or recurring mutations that are overrepresented or, or present at a higher rate than the background. And so the one population where we know that is the Ashkenazi Jewish population or Eastern European Jewish population, where the background incidence of having a mutation is 1 in 40, not 1 in 500. And so our approach to genetic testing differs by what your background is, what your ethnicity is, what your um, ancestry is to determine how likely it is that you carry something or not, as well as what testing we order. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.